moving in with my brother's best friend, a man who's letting me stay for practically nothing, was hardly worth a slice of cake and a congratulations card that spits out confetti when opened. But I shouldn't have expected less from Layla and my mom. They were constantly celebrating others. It was sweet, even if totally unnecessary. Luke and I could have done this by ourselves, you know? I laughed at the full room. I'm just here for the cake, Crew mumbled. His cheeks were full and a coconut shaving sat just below his lip. He'd brought leftovers from his food truck. Well, he claimed it was leftover, but it smelled amazing and was still warm when he arrived. Every one of us knew good and well that his truck sold out every night, but we humored him anyway. Jerry, get over here and eat a slice, my mom instructed my dad. Dad was too busy walking around the place, lifting up floor vents to check for original hardwoods and knocking on the mantle of the fireplace to see if it was real oak. At what age do fathers suddenly become home inspectors? Hold on. Let me just take a look in the bathrooms. Want to make sure there isn't any mold. He headed down the hallway without looking back. Dad, don't. I began, but he was already halfway there. Honestly, who was I to stop the man from doing his fatherly duties? It makes him sleep better, sweetie. Mom patted the back of my hair and smiled. Thank God Nathan wasn't here at the moment. It gave me a chance to take the place in without being studied or feeling contained. Yes, we were on the precipice of cohabitation, but I wasn't prepared to have the man here with my entire family. Plus, I needed time to adjust to the idea of having a male roommate. Did I need to have the talk with him sometime? The one about toilet seats staying down and putting socks on doors when partners are over? Or maybe warn him about a few of my not-so-favorable habits? I wasn't exactly an angel. Where are we at with the wedding plans? I propped my elbow on the granite top of the island and dropped my chin into my hand. Across from me, Layla and Luke were cuddled so close they were practically sharing a chair. I needed a good distraction, something to take my mind off the fact that I now lived in the land of dirty dishes and raised toilet seats. I like the idea of a beach wedding. Layla looked up at her fiancé as if asking for permission. But he just smiled down at her. Whatever you want. I'll be there. Truth be told, Layla could say she wanted to get married in a parking deck and that she wanted us all to wear inflatable dinosaur costumes and Luke wouldn't bat an eye. 